Every time I visit LA, I'm always struck by one thing. Not how good in and out tastes when I haven't had it for a while. Not the bumper to bumper traffic that's present at all hours, though I do notice those things. What I'm talking about is the LA skyline and how short it is. Why is it that one of the biggest cities in the world is so flat? It's really easy to see the difference when you compare LA to New York, London, or Tokyo. How did this happen? It turns out the LA skyline is a great example of what we in public policy would call path dependence. Path dependence is a fancy way of saying people are more likely to continue doing things the way they've always been done. That means in the early 1900s, when city leaders put in place a building height restriction for every building except City Hall, it stays on the books for far, far too long. And that means when the state introduces restrictive zoning laws that don't allow for tall buildings to be built in areas where people live, which inherently favors single family usage, that nobody even thinks to change it for decades. Unfortunately, this path dependence has a lot of negative consequences for average people. Low housing density means that LA has a shortage of nearly 500,000 affordable housing units. Urban sprawl means people live further and further from where they work, which means more driving. More people driving means more traffic, more automobile accidents, more pollution, more noise, and weaker public transit options, all of which means worse public health. Sprawling urban areas necessitate car dependence, which always means worse quality of life, especially for lower income people. American suburban development, a house with a yard and a white picket fence for every family, was built on bad math. It's a lifestyle that largely doesn't work if we want strong public services. Fortunately in LA, building height restrictions were lifted years back. Technology allows us to build taller buildings in earthquake prone areas more easily and effectively. And in 2021, California passed a new law changing zoning restrictions statewide after years of advocacy. Things are starting to change. Building tall might not be desired by the NIMBY crowd, but in general, it's the best solution to many of the problems that I just listed. So hopefully the next time you see the LA skyline, it looks a little more like this, because continuing to build short well, that's just bad public policy.